everyone. I'm Joe. Des. And you are listening to This Square Room. <laughs> Des, how you doing? Uh, I'm okay. What's good? How are the kids? How's the family? Oh, God, please. Can we talk about something else? Sure. You you uh, take it away. God. <laughs> Since I'm um, trying to be nice. Jojo. Yes. Would you want your your man to be an alpha? Like, a, like an alpha, you know? like a... No. No? No. How come? I am the alpha. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, not alpha in the way that people feel like they need to be alphas these days. Okay. Because so, I think of like an Andrew Tate type. Alpha. Right. Okay. And like no girl wants that. No girl with sense. That's crazy. I said what I said. I hear you. Um, like, like I can get wanting like the, the caretaker. I'm the man. Da, da, da. Like if you want to mm-hmm. be more traditional, I don't think anything is wrong with that. But like it's the disgusting misogyny behind it okay. like that you want an alpha just not a misogynistic alpha i wouldn't even say i want an alpha i do want someone who can like make decisions handle business but like i don't mind someone who's a little more passive mm-hmm. in their personality like go with the flow chill type of person like i don't mind being the ones like plan things as long as like you plan like the special occasions like my birthday and maybe like an anniversary like anything else like I got us. Would you say you are an alpha? Um, no, but I can be. Okay. So hold that can be. Okay. Because I'm going to show you a video. Oh, Lord. And this is, oh, no. This is the alpha that. Oh, God. I want one of these alphas. What? That you want? Yeah. Okay. This is it alpha a man or a woman? A woman. Oh, I never knew uh, with you. Can you click <laughs> the middle one? Okay. Oh, God. The face. You can put it to the mic. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, hey, Pookie Bear. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for the Alpha to come out. I guess I've just been a little upset, wait, wait, that you haven't been calling me back. I mean, if I really am your one true Alpha love, I guess I just expected more. But... I understand. I really, I, I do. Cause I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. No, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I would never. Oh, oh, she's running out the door. She's gotta hit those notes though. What is this? This is just karaoke runs, now. Runs, runs, runs. I want one. You. This is your I type of one. girl. I want That's one. your type, eh? I want one. You like the random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You come here, little dirty dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah. that actually that was a little frightening. It was right it was, at first when I watched it. I was like, whoa, whoa, what's wrong? With but this? I know you like that. You exactly. like the crazies. I, 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 I do. I yeah, do, I do. Do you believe that... Um, Crazy girls have the best pokes. Yeah. Yep. Because mm, yep. I, you, I, you've been with some, so you yeah. know. Yeah. And and it's because they don't care. I feel like you've also been with like... like, Not to say boring, but like you've been from one end of the scale to the and next. The other, yeah. yeah. And like you like... I think it's not... Even like before the sex, I think the craziness, it like... It draws you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you make it interesting. I know you're messed up like that. I know you are. I know. Des, no. um, We want stability. There's one time that there's this girl who me and her would go back and forth. We talk. We don't talk. We sleep together. We don't sleep together. It was it was a mess. Is this the one that egged your car? Yes. (laughs) Yes. And like threatened to show up at your work. And slashed my tires. Yes. Didn't threaten. She showed up. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We walked hand in hand to security, like because I got to pass security to go in. Cause um she stopped it like I I parked at work and I'm <laughs> I'm grabbing my bag and as I grab my bag zip up whatever I need I'm getting out of the car I look up and she's standing right in front of my car it's it's raining a little bit it was pouring before but it's raining a little bit it's like a horror movie yeah like you know like the flash of lightning and they just like, <laughs> yeah yeah no hundred percent wait so so I get out the car but I parked across the street I'm not in work parking lot mm-hmm. so I get out the car. And I laugh. I'm like, like, this can't be real. <laughs> you're just and crazy I start walking. Is. And she's like, oh, you're just going to walk past me? You're going to walk. So she, she takes my hand. 
and she starts to wring my like twist my hand. Okay. So my fingers are like, Ugh! but I'm not in pain because I'm not like I don't want to say I'm not weak, but like, but like you're it didn't hurt. You're strong enough that yeah it, yeah in comparison to her. That so it while hurt. she's like wringing up my fingers, I just twist my hand back and her phone falls out of her hand. Oh my god! You just dropped my phone. You're gonna pay for that. I said, okay. So I start walking. She's like, oh, I'm trying to talk to you. Why are you walking away? I'm like, I, I start working like three minutes, bro. <laughs> like, I got to change. I got to go. Oh, no, no. So she's still holding my hand, by the way. And we cross the road. We walk into my work. We are on camera. We are live in action. Security sitting there looking. I'm standing there. And I'm like, I'm, I'm about to go through this turnstile. You can't come through this turnstile. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I'm like, okay, well, I guess you're coming with me. And then she let go and walked away. And then I, I proceeded to <laughs> to tell one of the guys that know the situation, the story, and we're laughing about it. And I'm like, bro, can you go outside and go look at my car, please? Seriously, <laughs> was anything? Um, so he went. He's like, no, like she didn't do anything. Everything's good. I'm like, okay, cool. In the morning, I didn't move my car that night. In the morning, I go to my car, side mirror smashed. Just one? Just one. Just, hmm. the, just the so he probably side. didn't notice exactly because i exactly. doubt she'd come back just to do that no I think. no it, yeah i believe that happened but he just didn't see it isn't she the same one that like at one point you had um blocked her on everything and changed your phone number and the only email? thing she had was your email yes. but you also blocked her email but they would go to your junk yes. and just for funsies you would check your junk and sometimes respond back yeah. to her and set up a little booty call and she still didn't have your number or anything but she like correct through the blocked messages like all right we can hang out this day and like you like go have sex and then just like keep her blocked correct wild yeah wild i mean all of that was to say there's this one time that like we were doing that on and off thing and um we weren't i'm like i don't want to talk to you and i stopped talking to her for like a couple of days and then she stopped me to talk to me, like say something basic one day. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And by the end of the conversation, I'm like, bro, I'm coming to your house. She's like, what? I'm like, I'm coming to your house tomorrow, 9.30, be ready. I'm coming to your house. She was showered, shaved, She wasn't everything. showered. She wasn't showered, but she was naked going into the shower. Like oh. she was about to go in the shower. Oh, okay. And then like, it's funny because her, her door is always locked. So I go and I just open the door and I walk in. And she's like, what are you doing here? Bruh, <laughs> we know what I'm doing here. Let's get this done. And then we smoked, and then we did the do. Did you let her shower first? Yeah, 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 yeah for God. sure, for sure. Because if she was already on her way in, just let her. Yeah, yeah it might as well go ahead. And I thought about like joining, not joining, but like because I I know what you wanted. What you wanted was the aggression. You want me to be upset, and and she did. she wanted that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what, she wanted. what was that? That sounded like a like a chihuahua. Oh. Like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we're talking about like a wolf. <laughs> Better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Better than. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. That. So I'm like, you're not gonna. You want a reaction out of me because you want me to be upset at the argument or conversation we had because you believe I'm upset. But mm -hmm. when I act like I'm not upset, it pisses her off because you don't care about nothing. Mm hmm. Care about beating that pussy up. But did you even care that much? No, no, not at all. Because like, no, ugh, not at all. God, I still can't. I I can't with that particular story with that particular person or <laughs> set of stories. Set, yeah. yeah, it's just like wild on you. Yeah, 100%. for continuing to entertain that. Yeah, I think that's that's insane. I agree. Okay, well, since we're talking about like the Insanity like sanity of life, no, just the whole like do um the you know crazy ones mm -hmm. are they better this is a question that i saw online and i'm just like hmm that's a good point it says why do balls hurt when hit but not when fucking um and then below that says how can guys fuck so hard it sounds like a white man running in foot flops but when they get tapped on the balls it's painful and nauseating and then it says edit i'm a female i'm just genuinely confused about ball pain um because it's not necessarily your balls that are like, like the sound that you're hearing, the pop, pop. That's both of us. Like, yes, no, no, no. But like, when you're doing that, are 
The balls it's swinging? It's not what you guys think it is. The balls are swinging. Yeah, but they're not like, Fadoof, Kodah, Kudoof. No, I know like the, that's like butt and thigh yeah. meat. But that's not, I don't know. The it's, balls, if, if a man is thrusting, I feel like. Yeah, but it's. it's it's. Especially I feel like if he has, like the lower they hang, the more they're going to swing. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not. laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, but it, it's whatever you think it is, which is understandable. It's not that. It's not as. Like if it's swinging that hard, yeah, it hurts for sure. Does the like when girls like suck on your balls and they're like, you're like, oh, that kind of hurt. Ooh, ooh, mm. so good. Yeah, like it hurts, but like there's certain pain you're gonna go through sometimes. Right, it's like pleasurable with a little like yeah, wince, yeah. and you're like, okay, like I still like it, but like go a little easier. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know. I just assume that like if that's the case, if a guy is like thrusting really hard and his balls are swinging, it's like a situation where kind of like what you said with sucking, where the pain is not like does not outweigh the pleasure yes so you're just like that's fine but you get like tapped in the balls it's like yeah the pain yeah. there is no pleasure it's there's, just pain there's certain positions that like yeah your balls swing more and like you might like hit yourself <laughs> and you're like oh hit but, yourself like, like when it swings back like you hit your balls on your own like taint gooch yeah interesting um it's like it's not as severe, but it's like after you have an orgasm and they keep going, it's like it's sensitive now. You don't have to stop, but just don't do what you were doing. Yeah. I've heard like some people are like, don't touch me. Yeah. And yeah. some guys I think can keep it going, but I think it's sensitive. I heard like it like varies. It can be like sensitive for just... A you know, a quick, like, yeah, 10, yeah. 20 seconds. And then, like, if you push through that, you can go for a round two immediately. Yes, yes. And some guys are like, round two has to be in about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Um, and you're actually a bit of both. Because sometimes you're like, oh, shit. Like, there's one time that, like, I think I came, like, four times. And it was, like, back. Kept going. Came. Kept going. I said, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah. I'm, interesting. I, to me, I'm like, this is her. It has to be the. Are you usually a take a break in between 100 percent, 100 percent. but this one there was no break there was no break like was it even like a oh get soft and get hard again no it was like i'm hard oh like, shit it was hard like, call the guard because i'm hard yeah capital <laughs> hard capital hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and and with like nutting and mm-hmm. continuing this you can go through the sex, but like some when you get head after you nut, you're like, oh, 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 it's okay. too sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is getting head more sensitive than sex? Vaginal yes. intercourse? Yes. Yeah. Why? I have no idea. Huh. But it definitely is. Yeah. Interesting. What about anal? What about it? Like, is it more, like, is there more sensation or less? I would say less. Less than both? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But isn't the, it's supposed to be, like, tighter? I don't so. know. I don't know how the human body works. I but you've done do, it before. You've I tried it. do the do. Yeah, so. Yeah. Ew. What? Because I said I do the do and what we're talking about. Shut up, Joe. I literally didn't say anything. <sighs> like, you can't. God. <laughs> I can't even just live. I'm. I'm, I live. I want you to live. I do. Genuinely. I don't understand what I did wrong. Yeah. For me, you have to give me another, like, like if I nut, you have to give me, like, half an hour. Yeah. An hour preferred. Because you can take a quick nap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, like, if we're going to do this after my nap, like, just go for it. Just, just do it. Just, like, start sucking dick or, like, start kissing me. Oh, up. out of your sleep. Yeah, yeah. But if you're like, hey, are you ready? I'm like, oh, God, you're still here? You know what that reminded me of? The way you said, are you ready? This is going to be a real throwback. And I don't know if some people will get this, some of our uh, listeners. But they were like, are you ready? You know the um, Zoe 101 theme song? No. You don't? Is that the here we are? One second. No, that's Victoria's. Oh. The, the Zoe 101, it went, are you ready? Ooh. 
I know you see me standing here. You you used to watch it though. Absolutely not. You didn't? Absolutely not. Why? There are certain shows. I thought you did. No, there are certain shows that I felt were too like girly. Yeah, mm. and that was one of them. Why? There are lots of boys. No, I I it's believe I. It's just something that like I saw and I just felt like. Like, okay, like Ned's Declassified School Guide, mm-hmm. it seemed like it was tailored for boys. You know what? I agree because I was going to say stupidness. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I watched where, it though. Where Zoe 101 is like problems. Like, like I would say, like, I problems. loved Lizzie McGuire because I was like, oh, like, when yeah, I like go to high girls. school, I'm going to be exactly. like Lizzie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, it was not like that. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> um, that was definitely more of like a girly show. That's what I felt about Zoe 101. Okay, fair enough. Like Lizzie McGuire, I seen episodes because it was either right before or right after Even Steven. So it's like I, I like caught Even it, Steven but too. I didn't purposely watch it. Mm-hmm. I, I just have to play the opening for you because I, I need everyone to know that I'm right. <laughs> well, now because you said that because I'm like most of our, our listeners are guys, so they might not know. Good I they don't know anything. You heard what she just said? Crazy. Don't try to do what I do. <laughs> are you ready? That's enough, because copyright. But yeah, so when you went, are you ready? I was like. Oh, <laughs> you should have just jumped in there with the ooh. But you would have really no, looked I, at me yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> no, I think I did the right thing setting yeah, it up you did, because you, you would have been like, what? 100%. I wouldn't have let it go. Um, well, I was going to ask you something about a show. It wasn't Ned's. Oh, the other, like literally like three days ago, I was explaining to my mother the storyline or the the lore behind <laughs> sweet life of Zach and Cody. Okay. It was so random. It's because um Cole has a, a movie or something coming out. Dylan just had one and like she was watching like Entertainment Tonight or something or some interview and I was like, "Oh, do you know how that is?" She's like, "No." And I'm like, "Oh, like do you remember that show like I watched as a kid?" She's like, "No." <laughs> so I was like explaining it to her. And then she started to get it once I was like, oh, like London Tipton was like, and she's like Paris Hilton. I'm yeah, like, yes, yeah, there yeah. you go. Like they lived in the hotel and the shenanigans and their mom was like a cocktail singer who, yeah, like, you know, yeah. and she's like, oh, okay, okay. Like she didn't care, but like it was so random. I'm like, why, however many years later am I explaining this to my mom? Have you, have you watched, uh, well, obviously you have, uh, On My Block? Yes, except for the last season. Oh, no, no, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, what's his face? The little short one. Okay. What's his name? In the show? Damn it. Do you know his name in real life? No. But you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, As you talk, I'm going to look it up because it's bothering me. And and the girl was in love with him, the big mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. She was not big. No, no, no. She wasn't big. But like Watch out it. of the two girls, the two main girls, she's the bigger one. Ruby. Ruby, yes. Was the character's name. Yes. So I'm watching X-Men. You know he was in X Men. Which one? In uh, the Wolverine one, where oh he's one of the kids, like the new, the new generation. I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, here yeah. watching it, and I'm like, this little nigga looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and he made a face, and I said, oh, on my block. The one who's surprising is I've seen like the guy who uh, Brett Gray, the guy who played Jamal, mm-hmm. like. Out in the wild, I think he was like on an episode of Wild and Out, just like on TikTok, and I'm like, yo, you got swag. But like his character, it was it was like yeah. back in the day when Steve Urkel became Stefan Urkel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone yeah. was like, damn. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, I don't like Brett's character. Brett. Jamal. Oh, I just said his name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> his character was okay. I hate him. I think he's annoying. But that was the point of him. But um, the I'm pretty sure the guy that played uh, Oscar mm-hmm. and Caesar, I think they're related. No. No. In real life? Oh, no, no, no. no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. There's no. something. Well, the, the one who played Oscar, I know he did an interview. And, like, he was like, it was so hard for him to... He's such a nice guy. Exactly. When you see him, yeah. he's totally like golden no. retriever yeah. energy. Yeah. And I think the guy that played um, Caesar has like a podcast or something. Yeah, I saw him I do something him. recently. I follow three of them. Hmm. 
Mose, Mose, Mose. Monse. There you go. Sierra Capri. Yeah. Yeah. She's cute. She's okay. Baltimore. I always thought, like, for a character, like, I'd never, like, it's such a unique name, Monse. Mm -hmm. I wonder where that came from. Anyways, yeah, I just thought it was uh, a little unique, little. Where you, oh, Victorious, that's where you said it was from. No. No, here we are. It popped in my head. Again. Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the one with. What's her name? Cat, aka Ariana Grande. Ew. Ew. Why are you laughing like that? Because Ariana Grande. Yes, oh, you like her? Oh, boy. But, She's gorgeous. I but love But the her. problem that I have is we know that I like the crazy ones, right? You think she's crazy? No. But when she was like doing like that, I was like, oh, because at the time I was at the appropriate age to feel that way. The first time I saw Ariana Grande in concert, she was so small of an artist that like only people who knew her from Nickelodeon really, mm -hmm. like she was just getting yeah. into music. I remember seeing her show, like it was standing room only. She came here. And then the next time I saw her in concert, she was at the Scotiabank Arena, like, yeah. you know, the biggest arena in Toronto. So I was like, it's nice when you, like, see an artist, like, really. Get there. Because, like, with Ariana, like, the blow up was quick. Quick. Yeah. Quick. So, like, unless he caught her early. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, <sighs> what? Speaking of, like, these Nickelodeon kids. Who? Um, what's, what's, ah, uh, the two boys. Drake they, and Josh. Yes. What was that? Was quick as fuck. I know. Do you know what I'm gonna say? When you said speaking, and when you went like that, I was like, he's. I was gonna say Drake Bell, and you said two. I said Drake and Josh. Do you know what I'm gonna say? No, what? He admitted that he was like 95 percent. Oh, Josh Peck. Hi. As a motherfucker, yeah. On every drug you can. He was like, of. I was on everything but skates. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. He said only the last couple seasons, though. But like he, that's crazy. When you think about it, you know, as a child actor, you know, no, you know, I, I hear you, but that's crazy. I know, but he turned his life around. He's a dad. He's living his life. He's still acting. So it's still okay. No, I'm saying oh. the turnaround was good. Okay, I didn't say it was okay. But what no, are you gonna I, do? Go back in time? No, no, because I, I, him? I never know where people draw the line. Like sometimes people will do stuff in life. And everyone will shun it. No, forever. no, no. Say no to drugs. I'm not about it. No. I'm just saying it's great that he turned his life around. What? Were you gonna say yes to drugs? No, I was gonna say okay, speaking pothead. of <laughs> what? What 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 is something that you don't currently do that is bad for you or you know, that's something that you might frown upon? Drugs. What is something that you don't do that you would like to do? Like not that you're gonna do, but like I don't know. Nothing. Sorry, my stomach just growled. I'm hungry. Oh. I don't know if the mic It doesn't have that. to be like drugs. Like I asked somebody this question and they said like. Like are you looking for a specific answer? No, I'm just asking like you personally. What is something that I would like to do that I don't currently do? Yeah, that's not necessarily good for you or whatever. Like, okay, for example, I asked that question to my sister. She's 17. She's like, she doesn't go out like at night. Like she's not a night type of girl to go to parties and stuff like that so to her she would like to witness she's young she got time for that exactly yeah. so to, that's what hers would be also she can't even like drink legally till she's 21 so like she can't really go clubbing she got time but you got the point yeah 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 but something that's like not necessarily good i don't i can't think of anything like there's things i want to do but i feel like they're all like good for me oh okay that's good that's nice like i said cocaine no, I don't have a desire. No, I don't. I just like, you know, in movies where they're just like, how do you have a whole thing on? Like, what would make you put your face in that and just <gasps> like, that's crazy. Yeah. Also, I don't like the idea of snorting something. I get it. It gets to like the bloodstream faster. But Does like, it? Is that why they do it? I think so. But like oh. the problem is you really got to because you can't just snort it and have it here. You got to like. Like, yeah. And your ears, you nose, okay? <laughs> your ear, nose, and throat—they're all connected. As soon as you, you just, did that, like it's—it's just—I feel like it's too much. That's why I wanted to do it, not wanted to do it. My but. friends who have done coke all say that it's um, like you feel like you're on top of the world. Yeah, I've like heard that you too. feel amazing. Yeah, like fuck for days. 
I don't know about that. Oh, yeah. Sure, probably, yeah. but I just know, like, you. <laughs> I love how that's where you go. I just feel like you feel good about yourself. You feel good about life. You feel good about like, like you feel like a million bucks. You yeah. feel amazing. Um, but then my but the down is down. Well, so my friend was saying like that's why like people need it mm -hmm. in a sense because it the more you do it the more regular life seems dull mm -hmm. and gray and like when you do it it's like your life becomes colorful again. Mm -hmm. And like that's the slippery that's slope. Yeah. Yeah. And I realize also a lot more people do cocaine than you think. Like, I know. I, right? I know. I know. Like I don't think I know that many people. And the people I know, I can think of like six, like off the top. But then aside from that, I can't think of anyone. And those people do it recreationally, and mm -hmm. they've never done it around me. Although one one asks, they're like, mm, "You want to do one coke?" I was like, the "Fuck, bitch, no." Um. But like for instance, like when I went to LA, mm. like you know, like you go to someone's house and they're just like, like here they'd be like, oh, like do you want like a drink? Do you want to smoke a little bit? You want some weed? They're like, you want, you want a little coke? And I was like, Coca Cola? Me? Coca Coca Cola? No, 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 no. Coca Cola? No. No cocaine. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was like that. Like the culture was a lot more different. I don't feel like people openly um, offer coke here. <laughs> oh, they do. <laughs> oh. I mean, I don't doubt that, but like, just not but, around me. Yeah, but they just don't say the word. That's why they'd be like, "You're good. Do you do you want anything?" Oh, and I'm uh, you know I'm oblivious, so yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, no, no I'm okay. Water, please, water. Where'd that accent? Come I don't know. From? I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I I don't have any desire for stuff like that. You'd want to do coke. Yeah. So do it. No fuck no. I'm a pussy. The mm -hmm. fuck. Yeah, he is. The fuck? So then don't do it then. You said you want to do it? No, like, it's something that mentally, you know when you think you're a big, like, mentally, yeah, yeah, I got that. I, yeah, no, fuck no. Fuck no. Yeah, while you're at it, do a little heroin. I'm scared of, like, my fear is I don't know what I will do. I don't think you'll do anything crazy. I think it's more so about, like, the wanting to keep doing it. Keep oh, doing, I don't, I don't, I don't think I would want to keep doing it. And then also, it's like, where am I getting it from? Is it going to be lace? Like, I just, I have no desire to try Say no to drugs, yeah. like me. Yeah. Don't be like Des. No, I only do weed. You only do weed? Yeah. I, I did a piece of shroom one time, and I was scared, so I went to sleep. <laughs> That's kind of what you do with the weed. when you smoke weed, too. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. go to bed. If I feel like I'm too high, I'm like, fuck this. Not doing it. Your default in any like panic mode is to just sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> if I'm going to die, I'm going to die in my sleep. Simple. I tell everybody I'm okay with it. Ugh. I don't want to know I'm dying. Ugh, that's so. Sad. No, my my the only thing I really do is um, alcohol. I have tried shrooms and like shrooms are cool, and I have tried like an edible, but like like I mean, I think I probably told this story in the podcast once, but I remember we were in PEI Prince Edward Island for my friend's mm. uh, birthday. And a lot of my friends smoke weed, but I did not. So uh, <laughs> one of my friends goes, oh, he was like, oh, like, I can, like, blow, like, I'll smoke, and then I'll blow the smoke into your mouth so it's not as, like, intense. Mm -hmm. So we did that. I think the first time it was like, oh, like, I think a lot of the smoke escaped, so we kind of, like, went like that. <laughs> and then the second time he... Um, he did it, and I was like, "Okay, I got, I got, I got the hang of this." And then he did it one more time. So, but, but like that was like the second proper inhale, mm -hmm. the first one, whatever. And that one, I was coughing, and I was like, "Why is my throat worried?" Yep. So they're like, "All right, you know, like let's go inside." It was like the end of the night; people were just kind of smoking a little mm -hmm. bit before bed. I go in, I'm like, "I don't, I don't feel so great." And I was sharing a room with a friend, so I was like, "I don't want to be like feeling weird and like not, and like and like." It, like sharing a bed yeah, and sharing a room yeah. with someone. So I was like, okay, let me like sit on the couch a little bit. Everyone goes to bed and I like imagine, oh you know, like get out when he like sinks into the couch. Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. I'm not joking. It literally, and like the couch was positioned in such a way it was like directly looking at um the backyard, like the like the, the screen sliding door. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there staring. Like it felt like I was on a roller coaster. I wasn't I talking thought. to anyone. It felt like I was moving. I was high as shit. I didn't even smoke. Mm -hmm. He blew the smoke into my mouth. And I was like, what the fuck? I felt like I was bolted into that couch. I couldn't move. And I sat there 
and st- I probably didn't even blink till the sun came up. Sounds about right. And then I was finally able to kind of like come down off and of it like, and then okay. crawl into the bed. Yeah, like I'm not moving. I was like, that. what the fuck is this? This is how we feel. But my experience with shrooms is different because um, you don't get that like, I'm tired, I can't move feeling. I I have, I mean, I haven't done a lot. Like I haven't done enough to like trip out. It's mm-hmm. just more like to get like a, for me, it's like a body buzz. I, I again, I don't do a lot to like, be seeing shit and or colors often. and whatever. No, or often. Yeah, you probably had that part. Oh, I just do it all the time. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no. <laughs> not often and not a lot. But um, I would do it. Like, it's something that I would do in mm-hmm. the future. Mm-hmm. Like, spread out occasionally. I think it's nice. It's not something that, like, every weekend. And I know I, I get why people say, like, they microdose with that. But I wouldn't want to microdose because I feel like you slowly build up your tolerance mm-hmm. and then you need more. And I don't want to trip. I like what I was feeling. It's just, like, a bit of tingly. And, like, you just feel good. Like, I've always, like, laughed, had a good time, binge like, movies or video games or, like, whatever I'm doing. Well, and like nothing you would recommend. Shrooms are natural. They're from the earth. You go, girl. Just like marijuana. I so, I mean, I'm not going to tell y'all what to do. It's I'm talking life. about my experience. I'm not going to tell you to do it. I'm just talking about me. So don't be like, oh, Joe, <laughs> Joe said, but mom. <laughs> yeah, like, Who the hell is this bitch telling me to do shit? Nah. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Just yeah. like Des is not saying to smoke weed. Like, those are just. And I, I, I don't even. Oh, yeah. No. I'm no, saying no. just because we've done it. What you are saying is what we? This is like don't say that. <laughs> no, and I certainly don't do that as much as you. No, I've done it like twice in my life. What you... smoking? No, no, um, shrooms. No, you... I only did it once. No, no, no. I'm saying as much as you smoke. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck! Like I smoke twice a day. <laughs> oh my god! It depends on how much weed I have. Like it's funny because when you don't have that much weed, you realize how long weed can last you. Where do you get your cannabis from? Um, Dispensary? No. Yes. No. Wink, wink. Well, technically, it is a dispensary, but the disp- like they deliver. So that's why I said no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like I don't go to a dispensary. You don't go to like a weed man anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trudeau's watching. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say like, like people always talk about like weed in Jamaica. and Like, oh my God, Jamaicans, weed, weed. Mm-hmm. They're pathetic. You don't think their shit's strong? It's 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 different now because now they understand that the ones that they just grow in their backyard is just regular like oh the sun is shining weed but the weed that's like yo i'm high you know i think what it is i think like when weed was just like a thing that you grow yeah Jamaican weed was the shit. Yes, yes. But when people started doing strains and this and that. And it became that, legal and, like, and now you can putting experiment. Putting it in the lab. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. If we're just going with the basics, Jamaican weed is good. Yeah. But if we're going with like all these. Exactly. Like, Additives. They, they got to like. Special step water. It up. Yeah, yeah. Special water. Yeah. That's a, that's a type. Everything is like literally everything that. It's kind of like cooking, right? You can have your flour from the dollar store to make. Anything like dumpling, let's say, and you're like, yeah, it's flour. Or you can have like the most expensive flour that costs like fifty dollars a pound, and you're just like, oh my god, this is amazing. Fifty dollars a pound. I just made up something. I could tell you don't yeah. bake. No, I don't at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> you just get baked. Ever. <laughs> yeah. I saw the hesitation in your eyes just no, now. No, I was very hesitant. Why? I will be for the rest of my life. Why? So you know why. You know, because you know, there's one time I really believed it, and you sold me. <laughs> you sold me like I was. What? No, where I was going with the sold thing, I don't think it was appropriate, so I stopped myself. Yeah. Are we talking about trafficking? Well, slavery. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. I just it was just worse than I thought <gasps> because oh. slavery was a bit of both. Speaking of trafficking, what? I was talking to... <laughs> wait a minute, wait. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right segue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking to a, um, a friend. Okay. Who I just, like, when the last couple of months we just met. 
Um, a new friend. Yeah, it was the one I think I told you over the phone at work. Yes. Yes. So me and her were speaking the other day, and we're we're texting the other day, and I'm just like, yo, do because she ran away. She didn't run away. She was an orphan, and she was being mistreated in the orphanage and like getting bullied and all that stuff. So when she was 15, 16, she ran away and came to Toronto. But you don't know nobody. You don't know nothing. Wait, from where? From like Vancouver or something. That's far. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's the other side of the damn country. So I have fucking questions. As a kid who used to want to run away from home, too pussy to go anywhere too Barely far. Barely made it to the, like just to the garage. No, no, I would like go to the park and like sleep on the bench and then come back home because it was cold. And like, yeah. <laughs> So I have a lot of questions. Like, how did it feel? Like, you know, what was going through your mind? But blah, blah, blah. How does it feel to live my dream? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, do you tell your kids these stories? And she's like, no. Like, her kids know her life growing up was difficult, but she didn't, like, tell them well, stories. Well, how old are they? Um, right now, one is 17, 18, and the other one should be, like, 13, 12. The 18-year-old maybe could know. Nah, they both could know. Just for, like, research purposes. So I was like, have you ever been trafficked? Jesus. I swear to God. Have some decorum. Who asks someone that? Me! You're like, you had a rough life? Were you trafficked? Let them tell you. No, fuck no. Because what I realize is people wait too long. If you want people to tell you shit, you got to tell them shit. They tell you shit. Or That's you how create an environment where they I feel did. comfortable We're enough there. to talk We're, to we, you. We are there. We are there. We are there. Because as soon as I asked, she answered. She said, nope. But damn near almost several times. I said, all right. Damn. I said, if it's not too much, which I hope oh, it's not. Oh, now it's not too much. <laughs> Please do tell. <laughs> this is so stupid. After she already tells you, then I'd be like, oh, would you mind telling me? Not like a. No, I want to know the story now. I was like, oh, like if it's too much, like you don't have to say it, but da 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 da. Like, please do. <laughs> and like I put a gift. Anyways. Um, oh, God, this is over text. Yeah. <laughs> so she was telling me how she was still in Vancouver or whatever. This is so she's like 14, 15. And she had her one friend, and her friend was talking to a guy who was like supposed to be like an agent kind of thing. Like he worked with models, he worked with rappers, singers, stuff like that. Okay. And he's obviously older. Mm -hmm. So um the friend is talking to him and he's just like, Yeah, like, you know, you guys are beautiful, blah, blah. You guys should should come mm -hmm. to Toronto and I will set you up and da da. Obviously, they're both orphans. Let's go live a better life. Mm. So they're on the like, let's go. Mm -hmm. So the girl that I know, um, she starts second guessing the day of that they're supposed to leave. She's like, hold on. And this is what she's literally telling me. She's like, I didn't think I was that pretty. Like all my insecurities kicked in immediately. Like, why do you want me? Like, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So she was just like, honestly, no, like I'm not going blah, 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 blah. So the girl ends up going, the other girl, fuck it, I'm getting out of here. She goes. She doesn't hear from her for a while. Then obviously this girl runs away to Toronto and then ends up running into that girl years later. Drugged out, doped out, like off the shit. The guy was not what he said he was, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much just kept her in the house, like abused, stuff like that. Like, oh, like wow. crazy shit, like. And I guess there's like no no like proper record of them. Exactly. So there's and that's what he no took advantage looking. of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that's fucking crazy. She was like, I literally saw my life looking at her, what it could have been if I went with her. And I'm like, yeah, that's fucking insane. And then we were just talking about the fact that like how her insecurities are what actually saved her life. Sometimes and, like, you got to listen to that little voice yeah. inside your head. There's a, there's a time and a place to listen to that voice of doubt. Yes. And you got to just know when to be like, oh, it's self-sabotage and it's versus when it's your gut instinct. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was a like. Well, good good for her that she's. And I would never know, know if I didn't ask. Or maybe she would have told you if. Ah, fuck no. She didn't tell her kids. She ain't telling me shit. <sighs> Let's get to a listener question, yes. shall we? Yes. <laughs> if you are watching and you want to be a part of the podcast, whether that means you have a question, a story, or anything that you just want to share with us, we'd love to hear from you. Go to thisquareroom.com to ask us a question. Our link is in all of our little link tree bio things to make it easy for you. But literally, just go to thisquareroom.com. It's, it's right there. Let's see. My well, playmate. Well, we got. No, that's Cece. Um, 
Okay, so this uh, this is anonymous today. Ugh. She says, hey, Joe and Des. Yo, sorry. I have a friend who was recently told she has bad pussy. Oh, God. What? Okay. But as a woman myself, I don't know what would classify something as bad pussy. Would you guys know? My friend and I are stumped on what that could mean to a straight man. I love you guys. I assume this question is for me. It says, would you guys know? You think the only one no, who because, knows pussy? No, because mm-hmm. she said she would love to know what it means from a straight man. True, but she also asked us what we both... Oh, I always listen to the second question, not the first one. That wasn't a question. That was just a statement. Like, there's some question mark. She just want Like, she's curious what a straight man would be saying is bad pussy. That sounds like a question. To be fair, I think another woman would know bad pussy more. You but, think so? Yep. Um... Before you get into what you feel like it actually is, I will tell you what I think most men mean when they say so-and-so has bad pussy, and they just mean that it's dry. And they don't know that that is not bad pussy. That just means that the guy can't get it wet. That's what it means. And they're just like, oh, it was trash. It was so trash. It's like, bitch, you were trash. How about that? That's what it means. Because men don't know. In most cases. Take Disagree. it away. In most cases, they don't know. See, that? okay, go ahead. So... At least from what I know and what, like, we as guys talk about, like, usually bad pussy is just... He's going to say grip. No, I was going to say just the sex, like, the sex experience. Oh. You're not going to be like, oh, yeah, sex with her was whack. You're going to be like, her pussy was trash. Oh, okay. Whereas we think it's more so the pussy itself. Yeah, yeah. So if you... Do you feel like you could have great sex in terms of, like, someone putting a lot of work? The positions are crazy, blah, 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 blah. But then it's just like. It's, it's like it's like a dance, right? Mm-hmm. So you can have somebody who's a great dancer and somebody just standing there. But one person is just dancing around mm-hmm. them. Stiff as a board. No exactly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And to, to the person who is standing there. Wow, you're really good. But to the dancer, you ain't shit because mm-hmm. you didn't do shit. Mm-hmm. But if we're both in sync, even if it's not like a fast song, like. We're, it's like a you know a flow. We're both flowing with each other. Even if you're not the best dancer, but as long as you guys are flowing, as long together, as we are compatible dancers, yeah, it can it, be the best exactly. dance ever. Exactly, I agree. So, so at least like I I can't say I've ever said that a girl's pussy was whack or trash or I would have been like yeah like you know I don't think she has the experience I have in sex mm. I, you know because there's some people that are too much like you're doing too much sir. And she's not at that comfort level Mm -hmm. to do certain things. So just like when you like when I start off, like wanting to have sex, first thing I want is head. Like we can start with the kissing and stuff, but I want I want head. I'm not going to kiss you. My dick is going to be rock as a rock as a hard (laughs) hard as a rock. And we're going to have sex. Chances are I want head first because that's not chances. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's (laughs) what I'm used to. That's right. what my body responds to. Why don't you start her off? First? No, well, I can do that. I can do that. Mm-hmm. But I before penetration, I mm-hmm. would like. You want to penetrate her mouth before her. Exactly. What about yeah. penetrating her mind, Des? What about her heart? I mm-hmm. did. How do you think we got here? Fuck up our head, yes. Fuck it up for <laughs> real. <laughs> um. So yeah, I just think when guys say that like the pussy was whack, it it was just bad sex. Like okay, but like when you say the head was trash. You just mean like she can't give head. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like can't you can't yeah, but a girl. You, you understand you're talking about how men talk. We talk like idiots. We know sure. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because we talk to each other, we know what the other person means. I just know that when guys have said like, oh, like the pussy was trash. And like they're asked to elaborate. They're like, oh, like it was just dry. And it's like, so like you don't know what was turning her on. Like obviously... Like, and like obviously, different women get different levels of wet. But like, yeah. if it's dry as a bone and you're complaining, that, sir, that's on. That's, that's on a you. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, unless she has a condition in which case she would say or like have loop, and then that's that. But yeah. if you can't get her a little bit, but wet. even with that, like it's like you said, it's a comfort thing, a compatibility thing. Like especially if she's a little bit, I don't want to say insecure, but if she's already thinking about like, is this gonna be good or not? Now she's mm-hmm. second guessing sex altogether. But that's why I feel, and I've said this before, I think you have sex like once or twice with someone and 
it's like so so or kind of bad i think sex can get better as you know someone because yeah, the for compatibility sure. For sure. and like the first time i don't care how well you like you could go out on like 20 dates or have known each other and had a friendship for years the first time having sex with someone is always a little bit awkward because even if you've talked about yeah, things sexual yeah. sexually like you don't know yeah so it's different and and somebody's gonna have to take the lead in that sense yes and like it doesn't have to be the guy it doesn't have, like somebody will have to take the lead or it's just gonna be awkward and feel like mm -hmm. like yeah this is not gonna work but right. like you said it takes time more comfortability yeah um i had a conversation at work about um because i said when i sleep with somebody for the first time i'm not giving you a 10 and the girl's like, are you crazy? Of course you give a 10, your first performance. Like you you try and, and show out. Like, of course you don't start off like jumping in at a 10, but like it gets to a 10. I think a solid seven to start is fine. That's what I said. I said, I'll give you like a six, seven. And she's like, you're crazy. And the next guy jumped in. He's like, Des, you're crazy. I'm giving her a 10. I said, so then what does she have to look forward after Only that? downhill from here. Only downhill. I'm if good I give with you, a nice seven. I'm like, come on. That was good. That I was good. That again. You see what I'm saying? And then, now I'm giving you a 7.5. So if it ever falls oh, short, I know you're capable okay. of more. Oh, but right. when we have those days. Come ooh. on now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's why when people think I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm like, all right, bro. All right. All I right. agree. You I guys agree just have your ego. It's okay. Cool. Well, yeah. you're going to give her a 10 the first time. Like, I get it though. You want to set the bar high, but like if a but ten if is not your standard, then like then everything after that is like, what are you doing? And then if it is, that was a fluke, right? And if ten is your standard, maybe she doesn't want a ten all the fucking time. Well, it's not even that. It's just that like you just I don't know set realistic expectations because it's not always gonna be ten. Yeah. You're gonna have days when you're yeah. tired. You're gonna have days when you can't quite get it up, or the performance is off, or you've yeah. had a long day. You, you have got a headache. A fucking Charlie horse or something. You gotta ball it up. You never, you never know. Fish it out. <laughs> Go fish. <laughs> you never know. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but to me, if any, like, if a girl ever said, or like, I heard a girl was like, "Yeah, like, his dick is whack." I'd have been like, "Okay, <laughs> like, okay, like, good, I guess. Okay, I guess we're not having sex again. That's cool." I, I personally don't think I would be offended, but I would understand where, like. If a woman heard that for the first time, because you guys think a lot. I feel Not like as much as men. Yeah, we think a lot, but we can we can closet the thinking. We can closet that thinking. Are you crazy? You in the closet? What is wrong with you, Joe? Oh, oh my God. What? Somebody help me, please. Help. Help me. him out the closet, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, closet is glass, Des. <laughs> <laughs> we see you. <laughs> we see you. We love you. We accept you. It's okay. You. Come on. <laughs> we just waiting for you to accept it, Boo Boo. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I just feel like I've I've slept with people where while I'm having sex with them, like I'm not in it because I'm thinking because I know the things you've done. I know the partners you've been with. I'm thinking, okay, like how am I compared to them? Oh like, God. I think like fucking crazy, but oh. I can still keep stroking and act like I'm not. I thinking. would, I would never think about like who you've been with, what you've done. Oh God, my brain is a mess. Oh, I just God. mostly think about like what I'm doing then and there. I'm not even thinking about what I did two minutes ago. And especially because my problem is that like, I, I, I creep. Like, I'll go through your phone and stuff without you knowing. Mm. So I'll see things that I shouldn't see. But I need to know for my own personal reasons. Yeah. Because I don't trust people. Like, there's obviously people that you've talked to and you're like, oh, are you sleeping with anybody else? And they're like, no, da, 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 da. And then you find out, you're like, bro, like, just, you could have just told me, like, it's fine. But now that I know you're lying, I can't unthink it. But if, like, if I ask a girl, like, are you sleeping with anybody else? She's like, yeah, I'm sleeping with this person and this person. Okay, cool. I know. Now it's my choice to kind of figure it out. You know what I mean? Do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? Like, because chances of me wrapping it up are very very high so i need to know but if you're telling me no you're not and then i creep through your phone and i find out you are i'm still gonna fuck i love how you're saying creep because you're using a word that's like not as bad it's snooping it's invasion of privacy it's breaking and entering <laughs> you're trying to use a word i creep a little like yeah, you know you're wrong. Yeah, using that and term. no, and I know, and I, I, it's because I know people are liars because I'm a liar. 
So I don't trust that's people. That's the thing. Not everybody is a liar like you. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But not everybody's a no, liar. Like no, no. The problem is that I'm an I'm openly saying I'm a liar, and that I most people don't want to. Admit I lie all the time. But people, they don't think they're liars because they lie some of the time. Fair. You're a fucking liar. You're a you're worse than me. At least I can admit that I lie. Oh, good. Oh, God. The the liars who lie about lying are disgusting. I feel like you were like talking to someone. It, oh. it, it came, <laughs> but you're a fucking liar. Like, because it, uh, it upsets me. Because like like I, I said, tell. at you, work we personal. have these conversations. And I'll be like, I'll say it to anybody, like, yeah, of course I'm a liar. I'm a liar. And like, they're like, oh my God, I could never. Well, there, there comes a certain point where you lie so much you believe your lies. I think you don't reach that point of delusion because you're so proud of your lies. Like, you're not ashamed. I think when you're ashamed, like, you kind of like try to convince yourself it's that the truth. Not, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you're like, I'm not a liar. And like, that's a lie. But you're lying to yourself more you than anybody else. And that's crazy yeah. to me. Well, like, that's the thing. But when they say it to you, some people are really, because I do think there's a difference between, your type of liar, other people's liar, and then people who just lie. Yeah. Like, I have lied. I lie from time to time, but, like, I I don't make it a practice. Mm-hmm. I I think what I'm the most guilty of is omission of truth. Okay. In my current life. Okay. Right? I don't really tell lies because, like, I don't like to keep up, but, like, you also don't need to know my business mm-hmm. unless it concerns you. And if it concerns you, I'll be open. But if not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to omit. Yeah. Like, I am, I'm not a, I would say I'm not a liar, but I can't say I don't lie because that would be a lie. Actually, you have to be a liar. Why? Because we called what's his name a liar. Um, Eli. Eli, because he lied once. Once a liar, always a liar. No, but we knew he was lying about more. <laughs> once a liar, always a liar, Joel. Sure. So you have to say that you're a liar. Sure. Because once a cheater, always a cheater. Because you've cheated. Sure. I have never cheated. No, not you. I'm just made. I, hey, yeah, I did, yeah. don't want Fair anything enough. to be misconstrued. Right. That's right. Des, not yeah. me. No, 100%. 100%. <laughs> you did not say 100%. Yeah. No, 100%. Yes, I know. But like, make yourself sound a little better. Like, no, but, just say yes. But because I, I own it. I, 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 I am. Just say yes. 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 <laughs> there we go. Yes. <laughs> 100%. Yes, yes. I, 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 I lie all the time and I cheat and I steal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't steal anymore. No. No, 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 no. No. no, no, no. <laughs> not the, Unless it's from my mom. Not the pause and think. Like, I steal her alcohol all the time. Still? Yeah. The other day, <laughs> the other day she was in Dominican, and I, I took, like, a huge bottle of rum. And I'm like, please, she pretends oh, she I think these. I think the difference is now you're not, like, replacing it with water. You're just taking it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, like, my grandma saw me, and she's like, Des, come on. At least tell her that you're taking it. I'm like, ah, she'll notice. So then I felt bad. I'm like, fine, grandma, I will. So I messaged my mom. I'm like, hey, so I stopped by your house. I made dinner for everybody. You know, me and the kids came by. Um, and then I left. I got home, and I noticed somehow... <laughs> There's a bottle Not some way, that somehow. wasn't in my bag mm. before it got there. Mm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how it got there. Like, you know, my, my bad. You it might be yours. I how it got there. <laughs> and she was like, well, it better find its way back. And I'm like, I don't know the next She's time. She's like, it should somehow <laughs> find its way home. I don't I blame her. I that shit. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please, I can do no wrong in their eyes. You could do only wrong in their yeah, eyes. Honestly, yes. And they've just accepted it. That's, <laughs> That's what, what it is. Yes. They've accepted it. And you look at the acceptance as like, they just know me. Exactly. They accept they it. it. They get it. They know how I am. Um, but yes, anonymous. I guess I we kind of oh, yes. digress yes. from our point, but like that's Yeah. That's what I think. That's what Des thinks. I don't think he you're not wrong though. Cause I get what you mean though. Like men will talk about the whole experience and just say the pussy was trash. Yeah. Because that's like, the easiest thing to say. Where, like, women would more so be like, I don't know. Like, I know some women who would speak like that, but, like, I wouldn't say the dick was trash. There unless yeah. it was just trash. <laughs> <laughs> unless it was trash. Like, okay. this We're not talking about sex in this scenario, but, like, you were talking about dancing okay. and how, like, yes. dance partners. This is, like back in um high school you know like those high school parties you're like in someone's basement lights down mm. low or off and like everyone's like grinding up on someone against the wall so um a friend of mine pulls me in to dance mm-hmm. okay like he wasn't a stranger i knew him funny enough it was the it was the guy that we met through 
No, I know. And I know. I know you've heard this story, I right? I saw where this was going. And so, you know, we're dancing, whatever. And like, it's one song. Like, it's, you know, mm-hmm. but like, you, you do a little whatever. And then, like, I'm like trying to match his rhythm. And like, as I get it, he switches it up. Yep. And I was just like, uh, okay. And then I get it again. He switches uh, it up. Robot. Uh, uh. <laughs> And I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Exactly. So I like turn now we're, we're no longer dancing, but like, you know, the music is loud and I need to like kind of yell, but I'm like in his ear. So I'm like, la, la, la. and he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, la, la, la. <laughs> and he's like, what? And then as the music cuts, I'm like, you have no rhythm. Oh God. <laughs> Joe, don't laugh. It's the fact that you're laughing, Joe. <laughs> but it wasn't true. That's why you can't laugh, because it's true. I didn't mean for everyone to hear it. It yeah, was supposed to be fault. a private moment. Yep. I would like, how long do you want me to... And the thing is, he probably felt good about the dance. Like, yes, yes. Mm. He was like, I'm going to switch it up. First the melody, then the bass, <laughs> then I'm going to wind to the harmony. Like, Ooh, do you remember this song they played five minutes ago? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you're dancing to all type of songs. Yeah. Like, it was not that serious, but, you know. There was... Sorry. um I'm, how old was I? I was I was in my twenties. Too young. Oh no, I was in my twenties. <laughs> I just I know with you, I just <laughs> figured. <laughs> and there, I went clubbing with a whole bunch of friends. And there's this girl. I've I've danced with her plenty of times, plenty of times. But it's been a while since I went out partying and stuff like that. So we go out. We're having a great time, drinking. I'm making sure everybody's good. Everybody's having a great time. You know when like you don't dance on someone, you just dance beside them. Like hey, mm-hmm. I was doing that all night. Whatever, whatever. So I guess she sees and she's like, okay, you know, let me, Des doesn't seem like he's enjoying himself because I don't know Des to be this quiet and not all over dancing on everybody. Mm-hmm. So she comes and she's dancing. When you're in party mode, though, you're a little more like low key. That's what I feel like. And people don't like that. They yeah. they think my party mode is like, like I, don't, I don't know. Fist bumping and. With everybody. Yeah. I'm not... No, you're a little more like, I'm going to watch and I'm going to catch a wine and. And chill. Yeah. I don't want to be creepy. but I'm, Unless you do. But I am. Because I'm watching. You are. Um, Sometimes you're creepy though. Yeah. No, I, I can understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so we dance, we dance. And then in the middle of the dance, she stops. And she turns, she looks at me and she's like, I don't know what's going on with you. But you're going to need to get it together because I don't know what that was. I sat my ass down on that couch and I thought about what she said. And I said, you know what, Des? She's right. Because something didn't feel right with that wine. <laughs> but I like. You're having an off day. Yeah. I felt like I was trying to get into it. And that was the problem. Like I wasn't in it, you know. Like you weren't I, in it to win it. No, no. You're in it to just to say you're in it. Yeah, exactly. For a participation ribbon. Exactly. And she, she, to her, that's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. And I understood that. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate the fact that she said that because now I get to think about what I did. And and by the end of the night, she looked at me like, "Do you remember? We're back. Do you remember when we were in Turks and um, <laughs> we went out one night?" And my friend's cousin, he lives there, but he's a Jamaican man. Mm-hmm. First of all, I didn't know what he was trying to do. I didn't realize he was trying to dance with me. So he just kind of like pulled me and then we started dancing. Ten seconds in, I was just trying to figure out what's happening. He stops me and looks at me. He's like, you whine like a Canadian. Oh, God. Remember? Yes, 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 yes. I was I like, exactly. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. like, sir, I Don't didn't even know that. what was going Don't, on. Yeah. I thought we were just having fun. My at bad. first, p- like part of me was like, no, 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 give me a chance. But I was like. Fuck you! How dare you? Let me go sit my ass down. <laughs> Someone get me a drink. Yeah, that's insulting. <laughs> that's insulting. Not a Canadian. That's crazy. That? That is crazy. Is wild. Yeah. At least say American. At least. The okay. French. Jamaican? No. French. You feel like Canadians dance better than French people? Yes, because we have more West Indian people. No, I'm I'm talking about the non. Not not He didn't can, say you dance, he said you whine. Yeah, like that's a what Canadian. I mean. You think like I'm t- he's he's obviously talking white Canadian. He's not talking about black Canadian. No, he's just saying he knows I'm Jamaican, he knows I'm Canadian. He's like, "Well, I'm not seeing the Jamaicans." So The Canadian, when you hear Canadian, you associate it with white. I guess. I just thought he oh, meant white. like he was just leaning away from the Jamaican no. side. He just knew the two things I was. Yeah. And he's going with the white. Sure. <laughs> but I'm not I would white. be insulted. Oh, I was. By far. 
<laughs> by far. <laughs> I don't want him here. No, he needs to leave. What do you mean you don't want? He's not. He needs to get out. I think he's in Jamaica. Yeah. Oh yeah, he went back. Where no, because he was in Turks. Yeah, but he he goes back and forth. So I'm oh, pretty okay, sure okay, he's okay. fourth. Yeah. Or no, back. Oh, he's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yes, all right. <gasps> um, I hope that answers what. No, I was like, oh, I hope he, I'm gonna see him soon. But no, like, you won't. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he's he's in Jamaica. Um, but yes, I hope that answered your question. And for anyone else, it's thisgirlroom.com. Um, we would love to hear from you. Don't be shy. We are nice. I didn't even point out the fact that she said her friend, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, has bad pussy. Because, you know, uh, asking for a friend. Uh, uh, I didn't catch on I didn't that. even point that out. I, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nope, nope. Listen, here, you don't need to ask for a friend she she probably genuinely was but um that's why you can stay anonymous if you if you so choose yeah um but yeah i think that's gonna bring us to the end of our episode you can find us at this square room on our social media don't forget to follow us on tiktok on instagram and on twitter and we will see you next tuesday <laughs>